We have a lot to pack up over the holiday weekend. Let's go over what it is. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Melinda and this is my husband, Jam. We are full-time resellers on sites primarily eBay, a little bit of Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and a tiny bit on Etsy as well. We make a full-time living buying stuff from garage sales, thrift stores, you name it. Places. Yeah, and selling it online for a profit. We sell this stuff for a lot more than what we pay for it, obviously, then we keep the difference. That's what we do. We flip. Uh, this is a four-day weekend, so you'll see plenty of items that sold over the weekend. We're including everything from Friday all the way through Monday this, this week. That's right, and we did sell more. We always go over our numbers at the end of these videos, so that number is higher this weekend. You always have to keep in mind, it is an extra day. Let's jump into what's sold. The first ones are these amazing Merrells. They are both Gore-Tex and Vibram. Uh, something you definitely want to look out for. Something you definitely want to put in your titles. Excellent pre-owned condition with almost brand new treads on them. These sold for $50 in less than two days. All of our shoes, um, so that way I don't have to repeat it, we pay an average of $7. If we've paid a lot more, I'll definitely point that out. A pair of Nike Pegasus 35 sold. These were also in excellent condition. We found these at a garage sale for $3 and we actually found three pair, um, all the same style and size, which was an awesome score. This is the first one that sold. Another pair of Nikes. These have been in our store for a long time. They're a little bit beat up. They have some paint marks. Uh, treads were pretty good. Overall, you know, nice shoes. They're going to Canada. They sold for only $30 with free shipping and it's going to cost us about $9 to ship it. And they did sell through the global shipping program. So they're going to go through Kentucky and then up north to Canada. Hey, look, another pair of Nike, a Zoom Vomeros. These sold for $35 with free shipping. Again, nothing really too special about them. They do have some wear on the treads, but Overall, in really nice condition. They have some dirt down here. We don't really care too much about the treads. We definitely get all the dirt out of it. We get all the rocks out of it, but there's some blemishes there and, and we're perfectly fine with it. So 35 bucks out the door. We're definitely happy with that. These are Cole Hans. Cole Haan is a excellent brand to look out for. These are their Grand Pro model. They're really in a really nice condition. No blemishes, no damage or anything like that. These sold for $40 with free shipping as well. Not too much to say about them. They're just casual sneakers. Definitely look out for anything Cole Haan. Uh, they tend to do really well. Some of their dress shoes tend to sit for us, but in the last year or so, not a lot of people were wearing dress shoes for obvious reasons, so that might be part of it. Another great brand that we've sold a lot of is Keen. Now, these are in pretty rough condition. I mean, you can see that these have been pretty heavily worn. You can see all of the blemishing here where my thumb is. The Keen uh, emblem is, is pretty worn down. They still sold for $31 with free shipping. So just because they have a little bit of wear on them, they can still sell, especially if it's Keen. So if you look out for those, you'll definitely flip them fast. We've sold a lot of them. Another style of sandal. These are Teva. Again, another one to look out for. I hope you guys are making a list when you're watching these What's Sold videos so you can definitely replicate this and do this yourself at home or wherever you are. These are excellent condition on the bottom. There's no wear on them. They were a little bit dirty. They do have some marks on them here. We definitely disclosed all of that. And they do have some blemishing on top here. And still, with all of that wear, they still sold for $37 uh, out the door. On average, it costs us between eight and $10 to ship out shoes and USPS uh, shoe boxes. And the last pair that sold over this weekend were these Sperry's. They did come with the original box. The box is a bit beat up and it doesn't have the lid. We're still gonna ship it in a shoe box. We'll put this box in that box. Uh, they are brand new with tags. Uh, it was awesome. I ran into a Goodwill and they had a bunch of these brand new in the original boxes. I did pay up for these, I paid 15. They did sell for 55 shift, which is why I paid up for them. And we have several left of these, which is really hard to find and rare to find brand new shoes at Goodwill. So when you see them, definitely snag them and look them up. Mona's gonna come right back. She's going to cover all of the items that sold this weekend for over $100. So definitely get your notepads ready for that segment. So the first item in our over 100 category is a brand you've heard us talk about quite a bit before and it's 
Bose. We sold this pair of speakers for $150 plus they pay shipping on Facebook Marketplace. They came in a bundle, so we have 75 allocated for the speakers, but that still doubles our money and it was a quick flip. We knew it would be. Bose sells fast. It's just a quality brand. It holds its resale value very well. So our next one we actually found on Facebook Marketplace and then of course we sold it on eBay for a profit. This is a professional grade Sony CD burner. These were very in in the day when you were cranking out, you know, those CDs, you'd buy them and then burn some copies. They still command a very high value. So don't sleep on old tech. This sold for $300 and we only paid $40. Plenty of room for margins on that. The next piece is also a Sony. So there's a theme. There are some very good brands in technology that have maintained their reputation and they maintain their resale value a lot better than possibly some other brands that you might see. Sony is obviously one of them. And this piece is just a CD changer. So it just plays regular CDs. Uh, it does need a receiver and speakers to be able to hear the sound. We had all those uh, that we've been selling through. And we have $9 into it from Goodwill. We tested it, we didn't have to get it fixed. It worked perfectly fine. This sold very quickly for $108.50. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is not in electronics. It is possible to sell things for more than $100 that aren't tech. This is a great example of something that you might pass by just thinking it's such a random thing, but don't sleep on this type of thing. We sold a bundle of two sets of these display cases. We have less than a dollar into each display case. So this is less than $12 into this whole bundle and it sold for $140. We have plenty of these left. If you missed the video where we picked them up, uh, we'll link it below and you can take a look. We just walked up to this garage sale and there were just hundreds of these. And then we split them up, broke them down into bundles and they've been selling very regularly and very well for us. And then coming back to tech, this is a handheld camcorder, small. This is the Canon Elura 100. Again, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. He said that he used it once. Just must not have been his thing because you do have to transfer the media over. This has the cables to do that. It has a blank tape as well to record on. And of course, I had to check it to make sure the battery was there. We tested it, holds the charge, all the functions work. I paid 40 and this sold within an hour of listing it for $125. I don't think I was off on my comps. I guess I could have squeezed a little more out of it, but I'm very happy for that flip to happen so quickly. And obviously that's a big margin sale as well. The last one I'm gonna show you is probably going to come as a surprise. It's a Wii bundle. This bundle has five games, including the Wii Sports, and then it's just the console. You know we've been selling these regularly. A bunch flew off our shelves. We still have some bundles left and some that we continue to put together. So these are just very solid sales. We have $40 allocated to all of this, and it sold for $130. Another item in the over 100 category is something that we already shipped out on Friday. We tried to get as many things that had sold up to the point before we left for the weekend because of course the post office was closed on Monday. One of those items was a $200 sale and it was one of the Ataris that Adine picked up for $20 at a garage sale. We have sold both of them now and the other one sold for $225 shipped. Adine's gonna come back and he's gonna cover more electronics, the ones that didn't make the 100 over category. More CDs sold. We've been selling bundles of CDs for a while now. This is four uh, Rage Against the Machine CDs. These we have a dollar into and they sold for $20 with free shipping. CDs ship media mail. They'll cost about $3 or $4 to ship out. It's this Garmin Nuvi 65 Limited sold. It did have the micro SD in it and it's the lifetime maps and traffic, which is a big deal because you don't have to worry about upgrading the unit. $8 is what Melinda paid for it at a garage sale and it sold for $75 free shipping over on Facebook. We may have been able to pull out more money for this Polaroid 600. It is the pink version, but we didn't have a way to test it. You have to buy the cartridge which has the film, which has the battery in it in order to actually test it. So we sold it as is for $37 with free shipping on Facebook Marketplace. We don't have anything allocated to it. This came from a trade that we did with a local reseller and we already accounted for all the costs. So this is just a bonus sale. 
Another brand that does all right for us is De Devod, 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 I don't know. Daewoo. Daewoo. Yeah, there's no D. That makes sense. Daewoo, no D. It's just a VCR. It's sold for $60 with free shipping. These smaller VCRs tend to ship between $10 and $12 for us using UPS Ground. This one we only paid $7 for, so we're very happy with it. We will include a pair of AV cables. This one did not have a remote. Another piece of technology, this one sold for $90. We pay for shipping. It's the flat rate shipping through Facebook Marketplace, so it's only going to cost us 20 to ship it, which is nice. It does come with the uh, remote. It's a Sony receiver. You basically just plug in your you know, record player or CD player, whatever you want to into it. It also comes with AM, FM radio built in, and obviously you need some speakers. So a pretty nice flip. We've sold plenty of these. We have about $20 into this one. The last one I'm gonna cover is this Yamaha. This is the Yamaha DD55. It's a electronic drum module kit. We got it at the bins and uh, it didn't have the charger so we pulled one out of our stash and it didn't have the drumsticks. We got these in bulk off of Amazon. All in all, we have less than $5 into it and sold for $70 with free shipping over on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm back to cover some houseware type of stuff that sold this weekend. The first thing that I have is a rainbow vacuum attachment. If you have been watching us for any amount of time, you know that these sell very well for us. We have $15 allocated into this. So it's a shampooer attachment. So this part goes onto the vacuum and then this part obviously is the part you hold and then cleans the carpet that you have. It sold for $90 on eBay. These are a very solid seller for us. This is actually our last vintage blender that we have. So we have to go out and buy some more. Usually they sell a little bit quicker. This one had the plastic pour instead of the normal glass one. So it was a little bit less. This one sold for $40 on eBay. We only have five into it and it will make it a little bit lighter to ship as well. These are a blast from the past for us. A long time ago, we picked up so much Fire King mugs, bowls, what have you. And we sold like $700 of it immediately after it listed. And since then, all the extras we never lotted up have just been sitting in our inventory unlisted. So we finally pulled those out. These are Davy Crockett, and it's just an image, sort of like a Western scene there. There's brown and red. Uh, basically nothing into these at this point. And they sold on Facebook Marketplace for $30. Classic, hashtag pots and pans. This is an all clad skillet. That is a great name to know for selling pots and pans. If you don't wanna sell anything else, all clad sells well, this stainless steel stuff. This sold for $37 plus they pay shipping on Facebook Marketplace. We paid $4 for it at Goodwill. This next one is a new one for us. This is a Bosch Tassimo, Tassimo. Anyway, it is a single serve coffee maker. It's very much like a Keurig. You fill the water and back. It just has different design pods and we have pods to sell with it as well as the base. So the very cool and interesting thing about this one and why it retains such a higher resale value is that the machine reads the barcodes on these pods and then it adjusts the water temperature and the amount of water for that mix specifically. That is pretty cool. We paid $5 for that. We found it at a garage sale and we sold it for $90 on eBay. Adina is going to come back. He's going to wrap it up with everything else that sold this weekend. If you made it this far through the video, we really thank you. If you found any value in this video, as far as the brands, the types of items, styles that we flip constantly to make a living, do consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. We did just upgrade to a, yet another camera. We're going to be bringing you a lot more action shots, especially at yard sales, estate sales, flea markets, you know, the, the fun stuff. Do hit the thumbs up button as well for us. It really does just help us grow our channel and reach more people. And uh, we would truly appreciate it. Thank you. Not all video games are created equally. The first one I'm gonna show you is the Mario Kart for Nintendo Wii. This with two steering wheels sold for $50. The steering wheels are just simply made out of plastic and you just put your uh, controller in the back and then you pretend to drive in the air as you're racing the classic Mario Kart games. That one we have about $15 into from a big bulk bundle. That one game with those steering wheels sold for 50. These five games with one joystick sold for 55. This is Country Dance 1 and 2. 
uh, Just Dance 2 and Just Dance 3 and also Dance Sensation, all for the Nintendo Wii. This is an off-brand uh, nunchuck and controller. They still work perfectly fine, 55 bucks over on Facebook. The last one as far as video games is Shrek 2 for the GameCube. This one sold for $20. We have about $5 into it from a bulk buy. This thing probably maybe works, maybe not. We don't know. It's missing the main battery. It has some damage. We got it for free. If you've seen our previous several videos, we tend to send these pretty quickly. It's a uh, Lobo RC car from the 90s from Nikon free and we sold it for 50 shipped it's gonna ship for about 15 dollars department 56 stuff tends to do really well for us we got this last year before christmas and it sat around like melinda mentioned we were trying to just purge through our inventory and get everything up before we took some time off this sold for 45 dollars over the weekend we have nothing into it at this point as all of it all of the expenses have been accounted for for this big bulk buy more department 56 these are just decorative little stones set of 12 uh yeah, they're just decorative stones. They sold for 20 bucks free ship. This is one of the originals, uh, vintage 1959 Risk game. It did have most of the pieces. We didn't account or account every single one. We have $10 into it from a private buy and it sold for $40 with free ship. We'll ship it in a 20 by 14 by six box. Eileen Fisher is an excellent brand to look out for. This is a small petite blazer for ladies and it sold for 52 bucks. I think Linda got her at Goodwill. I'm assuming she paid something like five to seven dollars for it. She's nodding yes, so that's what she paid for it. Uh, it took a little bit to sell. Obviously a smaller petite size might be a little bit slower selling than a medium or larger size. And the last item, un unless we forgot something, is a set of these four Greg Norman uh, golf polos. We could have probably gotten more money out of these if we wanted to list them individually. They did have some snags, a couple small stains, but we only paid a dollar each at a garage sale. So it's four into 35. At the end of the day, it's just about the numbers, not about what we're actually holding in our hand. We did also sell a set of four of his shorts that we also picked up at the same garage sales for $40 plus shipping on uh, Poshmark. Again, a buck a piece, quick, get it out the door. Someone gets an excellent deal. We're happy with it. We're going to conclude this video with our numbers, so stay tuned for that. We're going to show you exactly how much money we made over the last four days or over this holiday weekend. Before we go through all of the numbers, we just wanted to share our strategy for this weekend and why we had consistent sales. So before we left to take some time off of all of this, we loaded up our phones. We processed over 125 items in one extremely long day it's very long day from like 9 a.m until about what was it 10 p.m 11 p.m yeah it was late at least 11. yes we've had a lot of inventory sitting as well as some recent influxes of just mm -hmm. a lot of inventory at once so we had a lot of things that we had available so that really helped and we just did the easiest stuff first it mm -hmm. helps to get it out of the way get it moving get you into the zone so we just batched a bunch of shoes and we batched a bunch of other categories and we just knocked it out uh when one person was processing the other person was taking photographs because we were really looking for that 100 listings on our phone plus getting 25 up that day uh, we wanted to work on our patio and then we were going up north so that allowed us to have that flexibility to be able to do that while right. still keeping our store steady yeah so we listed 25 and then every single day first thing in the morning we listed anywhere from 15 to 25 items daily mm -hmm. except for yesterday i think we only did about 10 and then sunday maybe we did about 10 as well our plan was to list frequently you know first thing in the morning every single day just to keep you know that algorithm thing that everyone talks about going and also just to stay consistent you know when you are consistently listing you're going to be consistently selling there's no way around it there really isn't so it really helped us achieve these numbers you know Friday we did $900 which was an awesome start which is a pretty good reflection of putting up 25 listings you know 36 hours you know before then so right and we've had a lot of really good inventory coming in so a lot of the sales that happened this weekend was from new inventory mm -hmm. new listings that we were either listing that day right. or the day before maybe two days before yeah so yeah again just get the stuff listed if you're going to be flipping stuff 
do the actual flipping part, which is getting it listed, getting it sold. You know, buying stuff is easy. Finding stuff is exciting, of course, but you have to sell it to make money. Yeah, and we got to relax at the lake a couple days while hearing the cha-ching and making money at the same time. For sure. All right, let's go, uh, let's go through these numbers. Yeah, let's do it. So our gross over this weekend, remember, four-day weekend was $2,586. That is a very high weekend for us. Um, again, that $900 sales day on Friday and the extra day on Monday. Right, and uh, we pay for all of the shipping with the exception of us, of some orders on Facebook, right. but on eBay we have a free shipping model for sure. Our cost of goods for everything that sold was $443. We paid up for a couple of items, yeah. so the Bose speakers we paid $75 in a bundle, um, the Nintendo set that sold was $40. There's a couple of items where we, you know, we, we paid up for it, but it was items that we knew were, would sell for us and would sell fast and for right. good margins. Everything else was pretty standard. Yeah. And then our shipping was $411. Pretty standard. Yeah. yeah. Not, not much to say that about it. That makes sense with comparing it to how much sold as well as some of the bigger bulkier items. Yep. And then our fees were approximately $362. What we do for fees is we do 14% across the board because on some platforms we're paying 20, on eBay it varies from 6% to 14%, just depends on what you're selling, and then on Facebook it's 5%. So we just average them out and call it 14. That left us with a net profit of $1,370 before taxes. Yeah, which is about $340 a day that taxable we're very happy with that and Absolutely. we think that's a very successful holiday weekend yeah i i would say so and it was a really great way to finish off the month as well so we finished strong we added over 2500 mm -hmm. in gross sales to our end number which we'll be going over in a few videos so stay tuned for that video and that will do it for this weekend sales we hope everybody had a very relaxing uh extra day off if you do work a regular job or just we're able to spend time with family and friends, if not. So take mm -hmm. care, everybody. As always, like and subscribe if you do enjoy this type of content. We do have great content coming up as well. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Later.